all comes down to actionable intelligence. Did they fucking give you, or did they take from you? Did they make you better, or did they make you worse? And you're like, well, they didn't make you worse. Yeah, they did, because they stopped what you were doing. When you were in the gym, and Billy Bob was there fucking clamoring at you, did you get a hot tip from that dude? Did he tell you, hey, I see you at McDonald's every day. If you go up and order these two items, you get half price. <laughs> Ten days left in the years, guys. 110 days left in the year, guys. Some of you are saying, oh shit, 110 days, and you're processing that in your head. What does that mean? Some of you are looking at it as though you have less than four months left in the year. Some of you are saying, oh shit, we only have 25% less. Some of you are still trying to figure out how much time you wasted and didn't do shit this year. Three quarters of the year is gone. Is your glass half empty? Is your glass half full? You're fucking around with it. When really, you just have to do shit every single day. Right now, as you're watching this, you have to do something. Focus. Purpose, urgency, whatever that is. You have to move with urgency. You have to move with purpose. And you don't have time to stop and think about what that purpose is. Just stand the fuck up and start moving right now. I woke up late this morning. I woke up when the alarm went off. I thought, well, we'll just work out at the shop. My neck hurts. I don't have the drive right now. But you just have to move. It will come. I'm going to go in this gym. We're going to move with purpose. We're going to move with urgency. It's already 6.20. Ideally, I'm walking in there at 6.5. We're not going to not do the move. We're not going to not do all the exercises. We're not going to move less weight. We're going to go in there and we're going to get it all done. We're going to avoid anybody talking to us. We're not going to make eye contact because they're like stray animals and they're going to come and want you to feed them a little nibble. I already know what exercise I'm going to do. I've already pictured it for the last five minutes. I know what movement I'm going to do first. I know where I'm going to load the weight from, left side or right side. I've already pictured it. I don't even have to think about it. I've repetitively done it. I'm going to go in here and get this done. And it's just a warm up for the day. But if I don't go, it'll be that much easier tomorrow to not go. And before you know it, three days next week I won't go. You just have to move. You just have to put the work in every single day day. Evaluate every hour. Did I just use that hour? And if the answer is yes, that's awesome. Now you know how to do the next hour. Do it a little bit better. Just a little bit more precise, a little bit faster. One more phone call, one more whatever it is. If the answer is no, then you need to fucking turn the volume up and you need to work a little bit harder. Either way, you do the same thing. It's just that glass half empty, glass half full thing. You evaluate the time. Did I use it? Yes, I did. Okay, how do I do it? Just a little bit better. You evaluate the time. Did I use it? No, I could have done better. Okay, how do I do it? Just a little bit better. Either way, the push is to do it just a little bit better. If you're going to come on here and go, work's not everything. Money's not everything. You're listening to the wrong motherfucker. I am to the point where when dudes come on there and try to show me their side of things. I don't fucking care. This is this is my shit you're watching. I didn't come over and watch your mediocre life. I just block those dudes now. I don't even have a conversation with them. Because I just don't give a shit. You are a fucking cancer. If you're happy with your life, 
and you're happy with that, that's great. That's good for you. I'm not happy with your life. I don't want your fucking life. I don't want to be a part of your fucking life if that's you. And I definitely don't want you fucking anywhere next to me. Because you're a cancer. That's okay if you truly are happy. But if you're truly happy, why are you fucking on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube right now watching what I'm saying? Because this is always the type of shit that I'm saying. Why are you disagreeing with anybody, especially somebody that you don't know? I'm not in your fucking bedroom waking you up this morning. I'm not at your job while you're getting paid to do something and you're doing this. If you're not here to fucking gain, keep your fucking mouth shut. Go somewhere else. I'm sure there's some motherfuckers at McDonald's you can walk right in there and listen to them complain and you can tell them how they're right. This ain't the place for you. If you're not adding to me, you're taking from me. Go be contagious somewhere else. You got shit to do. Seven ten. Leaving the gym. Shoulder day. Shoulder a little bit of chest. Did all the sets. Some of them with higher weight than normal, you know, put an extra five pounds on each side. I feel it though, my neck. It's like up my neck, I'm stiff. First thing I thought this morning is, man, I don't want to go do this. But we did it. We did it. Now it's done. And we did it with effort and energy and definitely feel it. What are you showing me? That truck. Yeah, fucking. That dude cutting from his lane in front of that big ass giant truck. That's uh. And he's on the phone. Has no idea. And has no exhaust. That dude's one one bad step from fucking being in the hospital. Not even a giant step. He's already started and the points against him. So. I go in the. I talk a lot about shit in the gym. Because I go in there with beats on. And I have my music loud. But I still hear fucking retards. Behind me. Like on the other, literally on the other side of the gym. And then CNN's on. So movement catches your eye. and It all comes down to actionable intelligence. They are feeding you something. On television. Why are they feeding you that? Because they want you to do whatever it is they want you to do. And you don't even know what that is. You might be thinking ABC and really it's this, this, and this. Because some body that they've polled has said that if they tell you this, they will get this reaction. And by doing this action, it will cause this effect. When really, if you just turn the television off, if, if you turn the news off, turn the news off for 30 days and see if it makes a negative effect on your life, what you will find is that you stop worrying about that. You stop dwelling on that. Between sets at the gym, you were focused on your next set at the gym. You were focused on what you're going to do when you leave the gym. You were already planning an hour ahead. It's all just actionable intelligence. Are they giving you anything at all that you can use? And that's the same thing with those dudes in the gym. There's two dudes in there that really genuinely work out. There's a kid in there doing tons and tons of core work. My guess is he's probably a football player or something. Or aspiring to be a football player. Maybe maybe high school, right out of high school. And there's these three or four retards in there. That just they they just literally are progress stoppers. And there's another kid in there, this little fat kid. Been going to the gym. In the period of a year, he was really going to the gym. Like every time we were there, we saw him. And then you didn't see him for like four or five months. And he stood in there and told people that he was going to go in the military. I'm joining the, I'm going in the, going in the army. Going in the army. And I said, cool, what's your, what's your entry date? When do you go to boot camp? Well, I haven't signed up yet. I said, how old are you? Well, I'm 19. You're out of high school. Cool. What do you do for work? I'm a cook. I work at this place all the way in Camden from over here. 
<clears throat> like cool. He was in there doing like a lot of like really putting forth effort, like really working between sets. He's doing like body weight work and shit. So a month or two go by and the retards just leech on to him and you'll see him in there now and he's working out. You see him after a month or so and he's in there working out, but now he's just talking to these dudes. I think it's like he's looking for approval. So he's missing something in his life, so there's some grown ass men that are willing to give him attention. Same way you recruit kids into a gang. Same way you recruit gang kids get abducted. Things happen to kids badly because they look to people for approval. They're just looking for the wrong approval. He's lucky that these kids are not, that these guys aren't preying on him in some manner because he's right there in the middle of them and progress has stopped. So one day, I'm like, what are you going to do in the Army? He's like, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a, a I don't remember what he said. I think he said he's going in the Marine Corps. He's going in the Marine Corps. I said, what are you going to do in the Marine Corps? I'm going to be Special Forces. I said, that's the Army. Well, yeah, I might go in the Army. So now, are you going in the Marine Corps or are you going in the Army? Well, I haven't decided. I said, have you, can you pass the physical fitness test? He said, um, I don't know. I'm working on that. I said, cool. What's your recruiter say? Well, I haven't talked to one. So now here we are almost a year down the road and he hasn't done anything because nobody's pushed him. Nobody's motivated him to do anything. It's just this idea. He watched a movie that night and said, ah, Rambo looks cool. Rambo was special forces. I'm going to go be special forces. It's just actionable intelligence. Those people next to you that are telling you something where you're stopping to listen to them, did they fucking give to you or did they take from you? Did they make you better or did they make you worse? And you're like, well, they didn't make me worse. Yeah, they did because they stopped what you were doing. When you were in the gym and Billy Bob was there fucking clamoring at you, every five minutes he's over there taking a minute or two minutes of your time. Did he tell you anything that you're going to speed up, move a little more weight, move more in line? Did he tell you anything to make you safer? Did he tell you anything to make you perform better in the gym? No, fucking he did not. He doesn't work out in the gym. He's just there to talk to fucking men. Talk to dudes. Almost like he's a gay dude. Whatever, if that's... Whatever. I don't have a problem with gay dudes. I have a problem with motherfuckers stopping other fucking people. And I have a problem with people allowing it to happen. They just probably don't even realize it's happening. But did he tell you anything while you're in the gym? Are you going to walk out and make a phone call and trade a stock? Are you going to fucking... Send a note to your secretary, hey, order this thing. I think we can make this profit margin. Did you get a hot tip from that dude? Did he tell you, hey, I see you at McDonald's every day. If you go up and order these two items, you get half price. It's the secret menu. Did he tell you fucking anything that you're going to use in your day? Or did he just stop you from progress? Did you walk out of the gym? You were in the gym for one hour, 60 minutes, but 30 minutes of your time you stood talking to him. That leaves another 30 minutes when really you worked out maybe 15 because you were pausing and resting the other 15. You wasted half of your time in the gym. Then you left the gym and you went to work and the same fucking thing happened. The same thing happened when you woke up in the morning. You were going to stretch and do a little bit of cardio or whatever it is you do in the morning, but you spent 30 minutes looking at Facebook on shit that is unactionable shit that makes you better in no way. You have choices. When you went to the library as a kid, you could read something that you learned or you could just read some fiction. As a kid, at least reading fiction, you were working on your imagination, you were working on your reading skills. But you're an adult now. And everybody that you come in contact with infects you with something. So that 30 minutes you just wasted in the gym that you paid to go to, you pay to go to the gym. You pay fuel, you pay fucking time. You, your time can't ever come back. The time never can come back. And you were just infected with something. Those conversations you had already today, it's 7.15 this morning. Did you get anything from those conversations that fucking made you better? Did you get anything from those conversations that you can go tell somebody that will make them better? Those people you're going to come in contact with. There's this dude at the gym 
I try very hard not to talk to him. Sometimes he comes up anyways and just stands there. I usually just ignore him. But every time I talk to him, in the process of talking to him, he tells me how he moved from California 20 years ago and he used to work for the railway, but they fucked him over. And he used to work at a factory, but they fucked him over. All he does every single time you hear him talk is complain about something. If you're next to somebody and you know things that are bad going on in their life, stay the fuck away from those people. You don't need to know it. It doesn't make you better. And they're so busy dwelling on some shit their ex-wife did. They've been divorced 15 years. They're married to another fucking bitch. Why the fuck are they even worried about what their ex-wife did? They're contagious. If you're next to somebody that's fucking complaining, if you're next to somebody that's not making you better, stay the fuck away from them. And when you start to push them away, you have room for better shit. You don't even have to draw better shit in. When you push bad shit away, better shit comes. If you're on Facebook talking about your bad luck or your car broke or fuck my life, you got more of that shit coming. As you verbalize it, it will fucking draw. The universe will think that is what you want. When you push that shit away, you stop thinking about it, you stop dwelling about it, and better shit fills its fucking place. You better do something because you're going to get more of what you're fucking focused on.